Hey everyone, welcome to the Gemini December 2019 general reading. This is always for Sun, but also Moon rising and Venus Geminis. And if it does not resonate with your Sun Gemini, be sure to check those other signs. Guidance please for Gemini December 2019. Interesting. We have the devil and we have the lovers opposing cards. What else does Gemini need to hear, please? All right, interesting. The devil, the lovers, and temperance. So there's a strong need to balance things out here, Gemini. <clears throat> Opposing forces, light and dark, <laughs> good and evil. Divine masculine, divine feminine. We've got quite a few major arcanas here. What is the most important message, please? Okay. Eight of Wands, so interesting. Um, with the Eight of Wands as the most important message, there could be a flurry of activity in the month of December for you. We do have a full, mi full moon in your sign, Gemini. So I think mid-December, there'll be a full, full moon in Gemini. Your sign, your first house. So you could feel a bit overwhelmed in December. Not only are the holidays coming up for those that celebrate the holidays like Christmas, um, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, but there could be not just stress from that, but there could be other stresses coming up for you or just a feeling of being overwhelmed. Gemini being ruled by Mercury. Gladly Mercury is direct, but Mercury is the sign of communication, travel, we have the chariot. There could be some travel or you recently traveled, maybe traveling to visit family, dealing with the traffic, the air travel, that stress, maybe some anxiety coming up for you, um, you know, dealing with a lot of work. So there's going to be a need here to balance. Okay, we've got the devil, we've got the lovers. So anything that could be toxic to your health is a need to find balance, put a lot of time into your own health, your physical body, mind, and soul, right? So with this Eight of Wands, there could be a shift, there could be a change going on in your life, so that could be adding to the stress with the Eight of Wands. We've got Nine of Pentacles, the Star, Three of Pentacles, and the Devil. Nine of Pentacles is about doing good financially, feeling satisfied, feeling fulfilled. You could have been putting in a lot of hard work, um, loving the luxury, okay? So hard work paying off, but now is a time for you to try to rest. We've got the star energy, the sign of Aquarius. There's hope and renewal. So in the past, if you dealt with, say, um, like a tower type of moment or things were getting really crazy, a lot of energy flowing, a lot going on in your life, hope and renewal, rest, relaxation. Okay, so that's definitely needed here. We've got the three of pentacles with the devil. There could have been maybe a work partnership or something going on in the workplace, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, maybe even just overworking, over worrying with the devil energy. It's a sign of Capricorn. But when that comes up, that can be self-defeating types of thoughts, fears, worries. It's our shadow side. So your shadow side could be illuminated in that full moon. The full moon illuminates matters, Gemini. So for you being your first house, 
again, it could be illuminating stress that you're dealing with, life changes. Um, so there's definitely a need to detox with the devil card here, okay? Detox, getting into alignment with your true desires, what's good for your mind, body, and soul with the lover's card, that's your sign, Gemini. So the lovers, there could be a choice coming up, but it's very interesting that we have those opposing forces. It makes sense, right? So the moon and the sun, the sun is the masculine energy, the moon is the feminine. We have those opposing forces. So there could definitely be a lot going on there. You may be feeling that because what happens is with the full moon, it's always in opposition with the sun. Sun and Sag, full moon in Gemini. All right, so those polarities are highlighted there. Temperance, there's Sagittarius. Look at this, Sagittarius and Gemini. So this full moon, you know, this guidance here is definitely pointing towards this full moon. Rest, do not overwork yourself. If you feel the need to take a break, take it, no matter what you have to do, okay? Temperance is about finding balance. It's a mixing of energies like alchemy, right? We've got water and we've got fire. Feminine and masculine again, right? Moon, water, energy, fire, masculine. Okay, so finding balance here. There's a strong need for that. I can't say it enough times. Um, all right, so that's a strong message. We've got the Ace of Wands and we've got the Chariot. Now the Ace of Wands is about a new beginning or new ambition and energy being put into something. So if you're starting a new project or starting a new job, new work, Things may feel a bit out of control with your schedule, okay? We've got the chariot card. The chariot is about trying to gain control of the horses in this card, right? Opposing forces, again, this is all about opposing forces. Okay, we've got one horse here, one horse here. You're being pulled in two different directions. So you will need to find that balance. I'm looking forward to clarifying these cards for you, Gemini. I've never seen a reading with so much about, <laughs> look at this, temperance flipped over. That is a really strong message for you. All right, so the temperance card. This is about connecting with your higher self, right? The imagery around the angel's head, we've got that triangle pointing upward. It's about connecting with your higher self. Again, we've got balance, one foot on the rock, one foot in the water, okay? So I'm gonna keep this here. I wanna clarify the devil energy for Gemini, please. And Gemini, I mean, your sign is the twins, right? That's why we have the lovers here, representative of Gemini. Sometimes too much going on at once. Let's clarify the devil energy. And you could be faced with this energy, with the devil energy. Yeah, look at this, the star, another repeating card. We have the star here. Look at that. So that's about healing. It's about being aware of things, behaviors, your own behaviors, your own attitudes or beliefs or somebody else's, being aware of those things that can bring you down and putting the energy into trans, tra really transmuting that energy there. Okay, so. One more for the devil and the star, please. Yeah, this is a time to really focus on yourself. With that full moon coming up in your first house, the first house really pulls upon, again, your attitudes, your beliefs, your behaviors, your body, physical, mental, emotional. So treating yourself well during the month of December, Gemini. The things to watch out for, stressing too much, doing too much, those are the things that can get you physically sick, you know, get the energy blocked up. Okay, let's take a look at the lovers. Magician, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Look at this, Gemini, again. <laughs> Four of Swords, rest, relaxation, recharging your batteries. Eight of Pentacles, look it. 
this work, right? There's a need to rest and recharge here. So if you're being overworked, be careful because you could get sick. Sometimes when you keep pushing the limits, that's when you end up getting sick or a physical injury. So just be aware and be careful of that. We have the magician, so it's about using your power, directing your energy wisely. And when you need to direct your energy to relaxation, this is something that's coming up. So use your energy wisely this month. All right, let's take a look at the Ace of Wands. King of Cups, Two of Wands. There's a choice here. Again, polarities. It could be past, present. What's in your future? Devil, the lovers. <laughs> Masculine and feminine, sun and moon, polarities here, king of cups, tapping into your higher self, spiritually, emotionally, okay, there's a need for that here. If things feel out of control and there's a lot of stress, there's a need to tap into your higher self for sure. King of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, the king of cups is all about balance. One foot towards the water, one foot here on this pillar, emotional balance. Okay, so that's a really strong message. I want to pull a guidance card for you guys. December for Gemini, please. You know, you could have... This may be happening, say, beginning of December, middle December, even the end of December, and then January. You might have some things coming up, right? Okay, we've got infinite blessings. So, Gemini blessings coming your way but it's important to pay attention to the simple blessings in your life versus say like the monetary or the physical pay attention good health is a blessing rest and relaxation is a blessing spending time with family healing is a blessing so infinite blessings coming your way ace of wands maybe new opportunities maybe some travel so it is important to you know, find the time to really take it easy on yourself for this month. This could be even healing, you know, a relationship that's been going through this energy, right? So work, relationship, some area of your life, health. I hope you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Facebook or book a private reading, that information's posted in the description box below. Take care.